We are at Vimon 2017. I'm uh, here with Dave Morera from uh, VMware and we're going to talk uh, VMware vSAN. I have a question uh, concerning the uh, FTT policy when uh, we have, uh, let's say, only three hosts, small cluster, and we want to conduct a successful upgrade. What's the uh, things to avoid? and uh, what other things uh, we shouldn't do. Okay. Uh, yeah, when you're trying to do an upgrade, you have different options, right? So you can do, uh, you create a new uh, VCSA, you can migrate your host. You, there's no, the, uh, the good thing about this, you, there's no downtime really. If you have three hosts, you can move one host at a time. You don't have to put in maintenance mode necessarily and it, you don't have to disconnect it from the source vCenter. Uh, it would disconnect from the source, uh, which is good. So. Uh, you have to pre-configure your VDS if you're using that, uh, but all your configuration will carry over. So you also have to uh, take care of the uh, policies. So if you have a custom policy that you created, you know, create that ahead of time on the target. The other option, if you upgrade your, for example... But I have to, I have to stop the VMs? No, the VMs will keep running. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that your VMs will keep running. The other option is to upgrade your vCenters. For example, if you have Windows vCenter, you can use the tool for VCSA and migrate it to VCSA. Everything will be the same. But when you're doing uh, your upgrades, I mean, you can do the upgrades for ESXi, that's fine. Your VMs will keep running. But if you want to do your own disk format upgrade, that's when uh, it's going to do a rolling and disk formatting per disk group. In that case, you know, your data will be migrated. But since you only have three hosts, then you have to set it to reduce availability in order to accomplish that. If you had more than three hosts, then that doesn't, it's not an issue. And let's say I need to upgrade the ESXi host first. I mean, after upgrading my vCenter, my ESXi hosts are running, let's say, version 5.5, and I need to upgrade them to 6.5 version, latest, latest version. And uh, I know one of the options is uh, to um, to vMotion the VMs and to to choose the reduced availab availability option. Mm -hmm. What it means? that uh, the VM will actually run only with one copy of the data? Yeah, so that's what it means. So what you do in the rolling in this format, that means that uh, you know one that one copy would disappear because it's going to uh, reformat the drives and you only have one copy. So you're reducing the availability from, from two copies to one. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, the question was about the actual host upgrade. Host upgrade yeah. from version 5.5 to 6.5. Mm -hmm. I need to evacuate the VMs. Do I, and if I have only three hosts, I cannot do full data evacuation. You know, okay. so if I want to go to the maintenance mode and do upgrade of the host. Yeah. Um, yeah, in that case, you will be, uh, you know, you still have the same the same issue where you don't have enough hosts to move around, right? <laughs> so um, there's no reduced availability in that case. So you have no data migration, really. So, I mean, you're still running one copy um, to uh, to recreate that. I have to force it in the, in the CLI, actually. Because in the 5.1 yeah. well version, uh, I have no... 5.5, yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's no GUI for that, correct. Yeah. Yep. Uh, another question would be um, about the stretch cluster fu functionality in vSAN 6.6. And uh, we have a new option where we can protect local or remote workloads with uh, RAID 5 and RAID 6. Can you tell us more about it? Sure. So uh, this comes a lot, you know, like customers asking questions, you know, I want to maybe replicate some VMs. Maybe I don't want to replicate some VMs. And also uh, we're thinking about the scenario where you only lose uh, one host out of the primary site instead of, instead of the entire site. So they don't want to go to the secondary site. You know, how do we accomplish that? So right now we have two levels of protection. We have primarily and then we have a secondary. On the primary level, we have either, uh, you know, failures to tolerate zero which means no replication, or fails to tolerate one, uh, which is, you know, rate one across the stretch cluster. Now, the secondary level is for the primary site, and that could be, uh, you know, rate one or rate five, uh, depending on the amount of hosts you have, the amount, of, the amount of drives you have as well. And that will allow you to, if you lose one host, then you're still in the primary site, and you don't have to go across the pond to the secondary site. Um, if you have, for example, for the primary level, if you have zero for failures to tolerate, you can do uh, affinity, it's a new feature that comes available. And you can say, okay, I want to pin certain VMs to the primary site. I'm not going to replicate that. I'm going to keep it in the primary site. 
because it's, for example, maybe AD, Active Directory, it's already, the application is doing the replication for you. Exchange is doing the same SQL. So you don't want to, you know, double replicate that data over. So that's, that's a good feature. Um, and then we can actually show that here in the demo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So right here in the, de in the demo, we have, so we're showing a VM, uh, and then we're seeing that at the bottom, you know, we have RAID 1, right? Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and create a new policy. Uh, just remember the policies can be applied to objects, not necessarily to um, an entire VM. You can do it, you know, at the home uh, namespace or VMDK itself. So in this case, we're going to uh, create a new policy based on vSAN, and we are going to add a rule. So in this case, the primary level is going to be one, and we talked about that was the you know, replication from primary site to secondary site. If we had zero, then we're going to see other options here what it would say, uh, for example, affinity. So affinity would be the other option that you can uh, set up here. So secondary level, we're gonna set this to, uh, for example, in this case, would be rate one in a primary site, but since we already have a copy on the other side, we want to save some space, right? We don't want three full copies. So we're gonna change the uh, uh, tolerance method to rate five in this case. We have uh, erasure coding with FTT one is, you know, rate five, FTT two is rate six. Um, as soon as we, as long as we have enough hosts, we can do RAID 5 or 6. And at this point, we have created a new uh, storage policy. And all we have to do now is go back and assign that to a particular VM or a particular object we want to take this policy. So in this case, we have VM 1. And we can go into apply that policy. Um, like I was saying, you can apply policies here to just the folder or the VMDK. And we're going to apply it to all in this case. We're going to select the, the new policy we created and apply it to all the objects. And this is going to show us that that VM now uh, has a different uh, placement of, of, the, uh, of the objects across the cluster. So we can see it's reconfiguring. And now we see we have the primary level of RAID 1. So we are copying that over to secondary side, and in the uh, primary side, we have RAID 5 of all, all the components for this uh, VM. That's it. Okay, thanks very much. Sure. No problem.